The Chaffee test is a post hoc analysis. And what it's going to do is it's going to try to reduce your chances of making a type 1 error. That's where you reject the null when the null was actually true. So we use these with ANOVAs. What it physically does is it increases your critical F ratio in order to correct for your, your chances of making a type 1 error because you're making too many comparisons. So this is how it works. You start with your original F F ratio from an ANOVA, you find the degrees of freedom from your ANOVA source table, and then you find the critical F value in a book from your ANOVA table. You multiply the critical F value from that book times the number of groups you have minus one. And that way you're going to get a much bigger critical F value. Well, here's an example. So let's just pretend we ran an ANOVA and we're comparing the means of five different treatment groups. So our degrees of freedom are four between group and 20 within group. So our new F, or Chaffee's F, is gonna be the number of groups minus one times the critical F from our ANOVA. So in our, in our problem, we had five groups so that A minus 1 would be 5 minus 1. And our critical F from the table in the book would be 2.87. So we're going to multiply 4 times 2.87. And that new product of 11.48, that's going to be our critical F. In other words, only those F ratios that are greater than 11.48 would be considered significant. Okay, that's it. MGZ out.